Hey YouTube Rando here. So we got another one of these subcaliber devices I wanted to come share with you guys, do a little overview on. This is the one we showed last time. This is the 22. Uh, and what it does, it essentially turns your 26.5 mill millimeter flare gun into a 22 uh, Derringer, more or less. So we picked up a new one today and I just wanted to come share it with you guys. Made by the same company, it's made by Runway Subcaliber Devices. Made right here in the great US of A and just like the 22 it does come with a letter from the BATF uh, stating that it is not considered a firearm until it is inserted into the flare gun so you can carry the two separate and shouldn't be an issue with uh, carrying a firearm there and somebody had made the comment about this one this one is the 410 45 long colt somebody had made a comment about um, you know shooting shotgun shells out of a um, pistol but you know they make pistols that shoot 410 45 long colt you know uh, the judge so um, not a big difference and the, the only thing that makes it not illegal is if you look down in this barrel it's actually a rifle barrel so this is no different than owning you know the uh, judge so this one again 45 long Colt 410 shotgun shells um, this one is centered you can see they have to set the 22 they offset it so you can shoot it in the 6 o'clock position it shoots a little bit lower and you can shoot in the 12 o'clock position it shoots a little bit higher but that will uh, hit it in either position 6 or 12 uh, you definitely don't want to set it at 3 uh, I went over that in the last video you can see how cheap this one looks they do make a heavier duty version this one was right around I think 25 bucks the heavy duty or one's like 35 it's not much more uh, we may invest and go ahead and buy one because I'm buying these for the flare gun kit for the boat so just in case you know everything went on, went overboard including my gun or whatever uh, and this was attached to the boat I would still have some kind of uh, self defense they also sell the band to go around the bottom of this barrel that holds the laser on it so you could actually aim because there is no sights on this thing so here it is you can see how much heavy duty here this thing is solid construction all the way around the size of that compared to the 22 um, and again it's not illegal right now this flare gun is considered a class class one firearm according to the letter I got from the ATF this is not a firearm right so you shouldn't have any issues keeping something like this on your boat as long as you keep this um, not inserted inside of the flare gun you shouldn't have a problem uh, and if I was you what I do I'll show you real quick I take and I wrap it up in the plastic like so I wrap the letter around the device uh, so you know if they need proof there's your proof right there uh, again these are made in America I think they're really cool we can't do any <laughs> tests with this one like we did the 22 uh, we are in the city so I can't go you know shooting this thing off in the backyard or anything like that uh, the 22 we didn't have a problem because I had cap rounds so uh, it did shoot the 22 I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have a problem shooting the 45 long Colt uh, or the 410 shells as well uh, I'm gonna buy some 410 self-defense rounds uh, just a small box of them and throw them in there uh, I'm not too worried about the 45 long Colt if I buy those I'm buying them from a rifle uh, I'm not gonna throw them in my boat kit but I will throw some cheap uh, you know bulk Remington rounds in there as well for the 22 so I do have some options uh, in my boat if you know God forbid I lose my 
uh, concealed carry weapon, which I understand it's hard to do, but it has been done. I know people that have lost their guns overboard, um, so it can happen. Or maybe you just go overboard and ruin all the uh, ammunition inside your gun, or you know, salt water's a pain in the ass on guns, so um, this would be a nice little backup for that, just for that situation. And then you have a flare gun as well. Which 26.5 millimeter flares are ridiculous uh, pricing on them, and, and most of that has to do with the way they ship them. Um, it's kind of like shipping Tannerite. They charge you an arm and a leg for shipping. I think shipping just on um, the flares is $65 flat. So it's not cheap, but we are going to pick up a couple boxes, and we'll be doing some tests with them just to make sure they still work because they are uh, older uh, Czech ammunition. This is an older Czech gun as well. Um, which it wasn't cheap. It was right around 90 bucks just for the flare gun. Uh, so it's not going to be a super cheap kit to build, but when I'm done with it, it'll do what it's supposed to do, and it'll be a nice little backup, a uh, nice little redundancy there, and it'll be a nice signaling device if uh, ever we get caught on the boat and get, you know, caught on the island, run out of gas, anything. Uh, we'll have a backup for all our stuff right there in that kit. So. Um, we will be doing some test videos with this. We're going to take it out to the deer lease with us and we're going to pop it off and see if it'll, you know, make sure there's no malfunctions with the 45 long colt and the 410. We'll go ahead and run both rounds through it a few times. We'll shoot the 22. We'll try some def different uh, ammunition with the 22 and see what it does because it is quite a bit smaller and quite a bit cheaply made. So uh, that I'm more worried about that one than I am this one. Uh, you know, being it's all plastic with just a uh, you know, a small barrel inside of it. Eh. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what it does. Uh, so be looking out for those videos. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.